Welcome to The Pathway today. We are still in Philippians 1, and Chad talked us through verses 12 to 26. And as I listened, this was just, it was kind of really motivating for me to think about Paul in those kinds of circumstances, in those kinds of prisons, and yet seeing how all of it was turning out for the gospel. And so I wanted to reread just two of these verses to you that caught my attention. It's uh, chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. Pick, picks up in the middle of a sentence, but he says that because all this stuff has been going on, that it has become evident to the whole palace guard and to all the rest that my chains are in Christ. And most of the brethren in the Lord, having become confident by my chains, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. So he says that even like these worst of circumstances did two things Chad pointed out. It made things evident to those who didn't believe in Christ yet. And it made those who did believe in Christ more confident. So that the way we're living our lives, regardless of our circumstances, if it's geared towards God, it becomes evident to others and builds confidence for us as Christ followers. And I don't know, that just really hit me because I think so many times it's easy to feel like I don't have confidence in sharing my faith. I don't have confidence in living for God. And I think, why would anyone ever believe this stuff anyway? And they probably don't want me to talk to them. And yet I believe it. <laughs> I was convinced. And so have many of my friends and many of us here at Horizon. And man, yeah, when you see a guy like Paul and you realize, hey, if he can do that, my circumstances don't seem so bad after all. If he can go through that and still be in it for Christ, I want to do that too. And so Chad asked this question in the middle of the message that I really wanted us to kind of think about today. What would motivate you to adapt to someone else's needs in significant and uncomfortable ways? And I think the only answer is it's Christ. It's what Christ went through for us. That as amazing as Paul's example is, Christ is so far beyond that. So as we reflect on who he is and what he's done for us, then I start to think, you know what? I bet you most of the time I am willing to adapt and serve and love others um, between the hours of nine and five when I don't have another appointment <laughs> or, you know, like if I wasn't planning something else and there's not a Bills game on or, you know, whatever it is. But man, it actually, the times where I know it's been significant and uncomfortable, it really does end up a lot of fun with a lot of joy because you see how God is at work. And so I want us to have that kind of confidence as we live and as we serve the people around us. And so I'm not gonna highlight any specific questions from the Pathway Guide today, but you'll notice as you go through them that a lot of them are kind of geared in that direction. Seeing how our circumstances can encourage us to think about tangible ways to be serving other people so that Christ becomes more evident in their lives. So I'd like to pray for you that way today because we know that ultimately, apart from him, we can do nothing. So let's ask Christ to be doing that work in us and through us. God, I do just thank you for this book. I thank you for the things that you taught Paul so that he would be able to see that his circumstances weren't being wasted, but that it was all turning out for good and for you, God. And so for everybody who's uh, just watching this video today, Lord, we want to ask you humbly, we want to remain in you and pray that you would be working through us, that we would be more confident and that the truth of Christ would be more evident to those around us. And we will ask that in Jesus' name. Amen.